Ever wondered what's inside one of these little MP3 players? Commonly known as Chipods. Um, if you do a Google search, presumably uh, because of their incredible resemblance to the iPod Nano. Um, you can get them cheaply off eBay and other online auction sites and uh, this one was bought about a year ago. Uh, it's actually labelled as 8 gig on the little sticker up there. Um, and they they are in fact a much lower capacity. Uh, they're what they call hacked players and uh, the sellers or the manufacturers use software to hack the player to essentially make it think it's got a bigger memory capacity than it really has. Uh, this particular one is, is genuinely a 2 gigabyte player and uh, once you format it with the software supplied which is just not the best software in the world uh, it reveals its true uh, its true physical memory size now 2 gig for I think it was about 20 pound is not so bad but uh, anyway the long and short of it is the, the longe longevity of these is, uh, is a bit hit and miss this particular one uh, and died quite recently and literally all it does is switch it on with a little switch at the top there is uh, it's quite difficult to see on there but you just get this kind of like a, a windows blue screen uh, with a little uh, little egg timer on it does absolutely nothing you leave it there until the battery goes flat doesn't do a thing and uh, at the bottom there you see we've got the USB connector up at the top there there's the on off switch on a little slider on this side here we've got a microphone and an earphone jack nothing at all there uh, just the screws, four, two screws either side that hold the case together, completely sealed unit battery inside and navigational controls on this little dial at the front uh, anyway um, this having died and having tried various things to resurrect it and failing spectacularly, I, I thought, you know, why not take it apart and uh, and see what's inside? So here we go. Uh, first of all, four screws to either side. I've already undone these tiny little screws. These things just down here. You'd probably not be able to see that, but uh, very very tiny little screws anyway. Using a jeweler screwdriver, any old cheap crosshead jeweler screwdriver will do the job. Uh, first thing you notice here is the little on-off switch falls out, so be mindful of that. Uh, there's a little slot there in the metal casing that this actually fits into and inside we find the main circuit board there's your lithium ion battery pipe there all soldered to the board, fixed, secured non-user replaceable and um, you've literally just got a, a small PCB with various components and presumably uh, one of these will be a flash memory chip and so unfortunately there's nothing really that you can take out and utilise. Two screws holding the board in. Just. Gently leave that away. And as you'll see there, we've got the display screen, which is actually a very good screen when it works um, but that's connected by a ribbon which is actually pinned to the control pad on one side and to the, the board on the other side as you can see there try and get this into focus there we go so um, really very little to see but uh, nonetheless if you've ever wondered what's inside one of these now you know Cheers.